On this episode of Fly Me to the Fun, join us in the cockpit and on the ground as we fly from Atlanta to Louisville for horses, bourbon, and a lot more. Oh yeah, and Lanny laughing just like Jeff Bezos. <laughs> anyway, <didn't. laughs> McCollum Tower Information Alpha, 1750 Zulu weather. 1100 zero, zero, at 11 one, gust 16, one, visibility 10. Ceiling 4800 overcast. Temperature 11, one, dew point zero, 02. Altimeter 3029. Visual approaches are in use, arriving and departing runway 9. Notice airman. Runway 9 Pappy Lights out of service. Advise on initial contact, you have Alpha. McCollum Ground, Cessna 22318 is at DLK VFR northbound with Alpha. Well? Are you on the right frequency? Yep. Frequency? McCollum Ground, Cessna 22318. Cessna 22318, McCollum Ground, I'm sorry, it was offline for a moment. Runway 9 or taxi via Alpha, wind 120 at 8, altimeter 3025. All right, runway 9 or via Alpha, Cessna 318. Plus 318, hold short of the next uh, entrance to the ramp. I've got a citation be taxiing straight into the ramp. All right, Roger, we'll give way to the citation and hold short Cessna 318. Citation 3 Delta Whiskey, turn right. Next Isn't that cool? Taxiway yeah. Straight into the ramp. The Cessna's yielding for you. Cool. Plus 318, after yielding to the citation, continue taxiing the Alpha. Roger, continue via Alpha after the citation, Cessna 318. Plus 9 or 6 uniform taxi to the north ramp via Alpha this frequency. Is that a small citation? Huh. Probably CJ3, I think. Citations just aren't generally very big, unless you get like up into like the sovereigns or whatever citation. Isn't the citation one like pretty big? CJ one? No, that's it's smaller than that. Really? I, this might be one up here actually. Watch, we're gonna get some blast from him. Let's get out of here. Hey, don't do that, to us. That I think might be a CJ one. See that little guy next to the phenom? Yeah. Pretty cool planes. Oh, that's an M2. So that's what Dirks has. That's like their <laughs> new version. Dirks. Yeah, that's my boy Dirks has one of those. <laughs> no one behind us. They usually still kind of pull off into this little entryway thing here. Do you do it here or down there? I usually do it right here. We'll, we'll depart down there. They don't actually have like a run up pad? Not for nine. For two, two seven down there, they do. Okay, avionics on, these are both off, wing flaps are up, mixtures are up, landing lights on, beacons on, nav lights off, pitot heat's cold, carp heat's off, we're on both, primer's locked, master's on, we'll go to 1700. I'm shocked by how quiet it is. Yeah. You should, you'll probably feel a little bit of a power difference. Good drop and recovery. Good drop and recovery. Good drop in recovery. Doesn't quit. Free and correct controls. Okay. The column tower, Cessna 22318, holding short runway 9 at Alpha, ready to go. So 22318, McCollum Tower, no delay. Traffic is serious, turning uh, mile final. Runway 9 are cleared for takeoff. All right, no delay, clear for takeoff, runway 9 Cessna 22318. How do I look at what, how long we've been up here? Feels like longer. Uh oh. Atlanta, FedEx 731, passing uh, 250 for 210. Commuter 4891, contact bonus 9126.67. Sounds like many miles. 2667, yeah. commuter 4891, good day. Good day. Okay. Delta 3794, Atlanta Center, climb safe, 230. I'm going to call her up though. Can you hear her? Kinda. Number 603, Delta Whiskey, clear direction to 22. Atlanta Center, Cessna 22318. Albury 3661, climb chain file 230. 
731, descend and maintain 13000, off the full terminal 3025. 13000 on 3025, Pennix 731. And I'm sorry, I had an aircraft calling the center. Could you say the call sign again? Yeah, it's Cessna 22318. Number 22318, go ahead. Yeah, 22318 to Cessna 150, 10 miles north of Mark Anton Airport to Alpha Zero. We're at 4,500 looking for flight following to Lima Oscar Uniform. Number 22318, Squawk 6046. 6046, Cessna 318. She'll come back soon. Yeah. Maybe she won't. She should say radar contact. But. Yeah. Agent 2017, uh, just a couple minutes for hire. Oh, we got a bogey. I see. Number 22318, VFR target at your 1 o'clock there, about 6 miles southwest down, up to indicate 5,500 and verify type unknown and appears to be turning westbound. In sight, Cessna 318. Number 22318 and radar contact 9 miles south of the Hinch Mountain Vortex, maintain VFR, cost terminal 3025. All right, 3025 will maintain VFR Cessna 318. Approach Cessna 318 has the field in sight. 318 contact Bowman Tower and uh, to use caution, I'll have a regional jet departing here off Stanford to be southbound, be no factor if you remain on uh, your current heading there. Hi Roger, we'll keep the heading, be looking for the traffic and over to Tower 318. Thank you. Bowman Tower, Cessna 22318, we're seven miles to the south. Cessna 22318, Bowman Tower, enter right base, runway six. Right base, runway six, Cessna 318. So there's six, so the International Airport over there. Resume West Close. Nice Bowman right there. Up. All right, here's 2,000 feet, 3.8 miles. So let's keep the descent coming. Number 22318, number two, spacing is good. Runway six, cleared to land. Number two, cleared to land, runway six, Cessna 318. Okay, there you go, now I see the traffic. Okay, okay. mixture's full rich, landing light is on. Let's go ahead and set landing power, car peed out. We got 10 degrees flaps. Kind of square it up a little bit, pitching 85. 100 feet below pattern altitude. Let's go flaps 20. Keep the power, pitch 75. Looking really good. Pretty area. All right, let's go flaps 30 before the turn here. Kind of slow it down. Pitch 65 as we bring it around. Keep it coordinated, keep the nose down. It's a displaced threshold here, so we're actually gonna land a little bit longer than the concrete here. And we're cleared to land. And this is runway six. <laughs> and just a double check. So that's the FBO right here on the arrival end. Looks like they have a DC-3 down there. Wow. Alrighty, holding 65. Right on the numbers, 30 degrees flaps. Doesn't get better than this. No excuses, nice and calm. No reason not to, oh, little bird. <laughs> one, one small reason. Yeah. Sun at our backs, too. Man. Beautiful way to arrive. Now let's make it work. Here we go. Pull it out. Watch in the end. Walk it down. Oh, yeah. We'll take it. Cessna 4 you it off of runway 6, clear for the option. Bowman Ground, Cessna 22318 off of runway 6 at Alpha 3, going to the uh, executive uh, of the FPO. Number 22318, Bowman Ground, taxi to the FBO via a right turn on Alpha, cross runway 33 three at Alpha. Right turn Alpha, cross 33 three at Alpha, straight ahead, 
Why are you discouraged? Everything's very commercial. <laughs> I, would like to I think that's like their tourist area, though. I'm Fourth. Not going to Guy Fury's. I didn't. I didn't come here to go to Guy's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got to find something that's not Gordon Biersch or Guy Fieri's. We're in the wrong part of town. Trap. We're in the wrong part of town. <laughs> We decided to grab some bourbon cocktails at the old Seelbach bar downtown. Next, we walked to Muscle and Burger Bar to get dinner and a couple more drinks. Then we went to the Speakeasy Bowling Alley in our hotel for a nightcap, got a lane, laughed at our gutter balls, and called it a night. The next morning, we rode some bird scooters to Nulu, a cool neighborhood about a mile from our hotel. We stopped at High Five Donuts where we got a fried chicken donut sandwich and a classic glazed donut. Our next mission was to find a distillery. We didn't have any reservations. This was actually trickier than we expected. We did manage to get a sample at Rabbit Hole and walk around the distillery a little. From there, we went to a bar called Taste that a few people recommended and got to sample some local favorites in a bourbon flight. All right, so where are we gonna go now? The Downs, we're going to the Derby. We're going to the Derby, <laughs> Derby. <laughs> Very forward to a Joe Chris Michael Oxide Scott Shapiro. Great day. Do you have actually seats we have to go to? No. Look at that lady. Alright, we've placed we placed a sizable bet on horse number three. Three. It's blue and white. It looks a lot like 318. It's number three. It's gotta win. Alright, what's up? Well, Drew made a dumb decision. I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. We lost. All right, we're going down this hill. We're going to go find hell or high water. It's a speakeasy. We got a reservation for name. Jazz would have been cool, but all right. You jazz. How is it still daytime? Couldn't tell you. Down. It appears that he will pass behind you about two miles. 